Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight. And this evening we've come to Brodada for a little stroll. And we might nip into Fools and Horses for a slow beer, meet a few viewers perhaps. So I thought I'll show you what it's like the end of September at Brodara. You'll notice the weather's cooling down in the evening, it's lovely. During the day it's still quite hot guys, I think it was around about 35 degrees today. So very nice for a beach day, but extremely lovely for the evening stroll. Nice and cool now. Still wearing t-shirts and shorts of course. But uh, not sweating at all. It's really lovely. And in fact it's a great time of year to come. Because you can always have an evening walk up towards a Napa. Or rent a bike. It's cool enough to cycle up to Aya Napa and the sculpture park from here at this time of the year. So the weather's much nicer in the evening. So what can we see at the beginning? Well we've got ripples on the corner and uh, I can hear Frankie singing away at the ghetto bar. Can you hear him? So that's Frankie at the ghetto bar. Look out for Frankie. Does a fantastic live show. So let's carry on through. As I said, that's Frankie Valley. Great show. We've seen him quite a few times out and about doing some live shows. There's McDonald's on our left. It's very busy down here for this uh, time of the year. There's the magic dancing waters. It's a great show, I've never seen it before, but lots of people have recommended the show and you can have a meal in there, so it could be a dinner show if you choose, or you can just opt to see the show and a little drink, there's a bar and a restaurant in there. This greenery, the pub, this is open all year round, so if you come here, out of season, you can always enjoy a little meal or reasonably priced drink in there, the greenery. Very good. There's the first of many bus stops down here. You can pick up a bus here and go practically anywhere. A little suggestion for you guys. One evening, have a meal, then come to one of the bus stops along this strip and pick up the first bus go to the end have a stroll around wherever that may be and then take the bus back a mystery bus tour how about that for an evening some go up to Paralimni some up to Ayan Napa all sorts of places Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got a couple of viewers that just said hello. Hello, guys. Can I take your names? Trish and Aidy. Oh, lovely. Are you enjoying your meal? Lovely. Thank, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care. Take care. Bye. And there's a couple of viewers there saying hello. Looks like they're enjoying their meal. There's the little Luna Park there on my right for the kids. 
keep them entertained for a little while just opposite this beautiful water feature look across the road and now opposite the water fountain is a road on my right and if you go down here follow the road round turns left you're running across Lidl's so if you're uh, self catering or uh, you're on a budget or something and you need some shopping there's Lidl's up there let's go up there turn left follow the road up it's not too far you can even walk it and pick up some supplies now the weather's cooling down I'm planning to go back up to Capo Greco and beyond and finish off our coastal walk we did start uh, right down there guys at Caparis and we walked down here along our famous coastal path past Capo Greco and then on towards Ayanapa I do believe we got up to the sea caves and I think that was leg 26 and we're doing it in little stages so I'm hoping in a few weeks time I'll go back up there and do the fantastic walks once the weather cools down during the day I don't want to go down there in the evening there's no light down there only the moonlight so if you are down here, if you see one of these travel agents, which little mini travel agents, worth going in and having a look around. If you're not sure where to go in Cyprus and you want a little tour, or you want to see something different, you can hire a car here, or you can pick up a, a number of these tours they do. Look, there's the red bus tour that goes to Famagusta there's the cars you can hire you can go on one of these traditional separate buses okay look that goes up to shopping Nicosia Famagusta or you can get one of the many boat trips around the area and this is a fantastic show this is up in the village of Visulis Stardust Variety Show. It's a great show. I have seen it. Highly recommend it. Great entertainment. And these entertainers are professional entertainers, guys. So I highly recommend this show. And they will pick you up from wherever you're staying. So I do believe the transfer is included in your price. Oh, look, it's a few people waving. There. hello that's the malt house very trendy actually it does seem a little bit quieter around this area here it was quite manic a few months ago If you fancy a massive kebab, guys, this is the place, Massa, fast food. You can pick up a massive kebab for like seven and eight euros. Hello. Oh, hello. There's a couple of viewers saying hello in this massive kebab shop. Hello, guys. I'm just doing a video. Would you like me to be on your would you like to be on the video we are what's the name brian oh nice to meet you brian and a nice lady deborah hello deborah are you enjoying the kebab here yes wasn't it massive <laughs> enormous <laughs> I, I highly recommend that get a big one and chop it in half because they are big yeah. good value for money here yeah. well enjoy your holiday where are you staying Oh, lovely. Well, enjoy the rest of your stay. Nice Thank seeing you. you. So there you are, a couple of viewers enjoying that big kebab. That was a great idea, guys. They've bought one big kebab, and it was 10 euros. It's called a mega kebab, and they just cut it in half. 
So that's just five euros a person. And they said that was a massive delish meal. So that was massa, fast food. And there is places around there to eat. So you don't have to take it away. This is quite a nice little place. It's opened a couple of years ago. Supermarket or big supermarket. You can get your souvenirs in there. And uh, you can get some groceries and crisps and whatever you want really. It's a bit like uh, the Marks and Spencer's Express. There's the little quad bikes. You can hire them everywhere guys. They're ideal if you want to go up to Capo Greco because the roads are quite rough. They're great. But don't forget to wear your crash helmet on the little quad bikes you will be pulled up by the police and get a fine if you're not wearing crash helmets plus it's quite dangerous pizza hut always do six euros 90 for as much pizza as you like so if you're really starving you can have half a dozen pizzas there for six euros 90 very delish If you're into rock music, this is the Q bar. Been refurbished last year. It's a lovely open air bar. Just opposite the new KFC. This is Eden Square. Lots of open air bars here. There we are. And then you can walk down Eden Square. Down there, you see. And that'll take you right up towards Lidl's and the little church. It's quite nice to visit. Looks like all the shops are still open. They'll be open for a couple more months, I do believe. Season's not quite finished. There's another one of these travel agents, look. See, travel and tours. Yet another bus stop. Oh look, there's a bus just pulled up. There's the one old two, look. That's going to Ayanapa Water Park. So if you get that in the evening, if it's the first bus that pulls up, you can get off just before the water park at Ayanapa, have a stroll around the Ayanapa Harbour perhaps, beautiful little harbour, and then get back on the return bus back here. What a great trip for a few euros. Now all the buses do come down this main strip guys, not on the main road on my right. Okay, so bear that in mind. If you do want to get a bus somewhere, you're going to have to come to this main strip because they all come past here now uh, what's that across the road oh it's an Italian restaurant and uh, this is quite posh look it's like a cafe posh cafe and it does ice cream mm. looks delish I'm gonna resist it tonight I'm gonna go into Reeves have a look around Reeves and uh, there might be a couple of viewers in there we can have a slow beer while I'll wait the evening and then uh, perhaps uh, we'll have an early light maybe there is Reeves they also do lots of sporting events here always got some something going on Arsenal versus Spurs 
etc etc oh sunday man city versus man united mm, there's a game they also do entertainment there's entertainment here there's the drag queens look they're on tonight at 10 o'clock very entertaining couple and uh, tomorrow what's going on tomorrow bon jovi's here tomorrow looks great and we'll carry on through this is another nice place to spend the evening down here guys rockefellers every night there's entertainment we'll have a look see what's going on tonight it's uh tina turner tonight and if you don't fancy listening to the entertainment and you fancy watching a bit of sports right next door is their sports bar section there's great big screens up that's this one here and there's a bar there a separate bar there's even pool tables in there so that's the sports bar section see that best buy is on the left supermarket if you happen to be here out of season that's open all year round okay and there's plenty of parking just outside there's a an egyptian so there's the egyptian guy here hello there's an egyptian guy He's calling me over saying hello hello put some money in there for the egyptian all right so let's carry on through see what else we can find and then we'll work our way up to falls and horses where we might meet a couple of viewers and have a slow beer perhaps while i'll wait the evening See that sunrise gardens great place to stay i think if you want to be in the hub right in the center of everything i've been in there guys look out for the video sunrise gardens nice little place and, and it's not very noisy guys behind there i thought it'd be really noisy being on this strip but it's not it's not noisy at all once you're at the back it's okay, it's really nice. Same as this place here, Gokinos, the Red World it is called. Gokinos Hotel. And we went round the back here and it's got a lovely pool in between the two buildings. And again, very quiet. There's a big bar there, isn't it? Cheers very lively great big screens everywhere they also do f all sorts of uh, meals you can have in there yet yeah, another one of these kebab places you can enjoy a massive kebab here very reasonably priced that's nick and taz's fast food kebab place very similar to the mess mess up should i say oh can someone oh, say hello time, oh right. hello all right man can i take your name jason samantha and jason oh from lovely oh from newcastle are That's you nice. i've checked a few hotels over in the past oh have i and have they been okay yes spot on. oh spawn oh marvelous i'm glad to hear that don't want any bad <laughs> reports do we where are you Look. off to only and horses. Oh, we, is that where we're going? I'm not sure. Yes, that's oh, that's where we're going. We're going. We're gonna. Might have a slow beer. We're not sure. Have a slow beer. Have a sl are you having a slow beer? I'm having a slow beer. Oh, but are you having a slow beer? Yes, of course. Good. I'm having a slow yeah, beer. We, we, it's got to be a slow beer, isn't it? Yeah. It's got to be. Oh yes, oh we we know these yeah, guys. Right. Yeah, we know. All, all oh, family. All family. Well, hello, mate. Hello. hello. We're meeting some more people. 
We're going to sit here. Oh, what you got there? That looks delish. Baileys. Oh, a Baileys, is yeah, it? Yeah, right. Baileys, oh, yeah. Baileys. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And you've got a slow beer, haven't you? Got a slow beer, George. Yeah, nice one. one. Oh, guys, that was a lovely slow beer and a great little walk down the main road. I hope you enjoyed it as much as our viewers here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it on the payments below. Brilliant.